Man, what's going on, y'all? Long time no see. And uh, actually, I do want to apologize about that. I had previously made a commitment to put out like two videos a week on my channel, and I've not been living up to that. Uh, I just recently started a new position at my job, so it's been a little bit difficult for me to juggle both things, but I am going to get there, and I appreciate you guys so much for sticking around. Um, as the title of this video suggests, this is going to be a review on C Smash for the PSVR 2. Uh, I'm a huge fan, you know, spoiler alert. I, I got a review code for this game. I, I won a, 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 like a press release kit for this game. I love this game. I've, if you see my Twitter, I've shouted to the heavens how much I want this game to succeed. So as all things, I'm going to be honest, but at least, you know, you know, some transparency there that I'm, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. Anyways, uh, let's get to today's review. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit. Let's get to it. C Smash, short for Cosmic Smash, is a reboot of a relatively obscure Sega classic from the Dreamcast era. Most people, myself included, probably have never heard of this title. But of all the IPs to bring back, now that it's in the wild, I can happily say that the transition to VR is a smashing success on almost all levels which I can only imagine to be a profound moment for anyone who played it back in 2001. From boot up, you're instantly shuttled out into the cosmos into a cosmic gym surrounded by some of the best boot up music, period. From here, you'll have multiple options on what to do next, so let's talk about the single player options first. Journey is the standout feature in my opinion for C-Smash and adds to its infinite replayability. You'll have two options when making your trip around the cosmos, one called Zen Mode and the other called Challenge Mode. From what I could tell, there's no difference between what you'll be experiencing gameplay wise, only in Challenge Mode you won't be able to replay rounds as you can in Zen Mode, so basically if you lose, you start over. Altogether, you'll do five orbits consisting of six to eight levels where you'll choose your path with the outside rings being more difficult and the inside rings offering a lighter challenge. Each level you complete gets scored between A and C with A being the highest as you're rated off your efficiency and skill shots. Finally, after completing all five orbits, you're treated to an awesome boss that I won't spoil for you here, but just know that it's epic. All in all, I love what they did with the single player campaign, but I do feel like it's missing some key features that you'll also hear me mention about the multiplayer. As a hyper competitive person, the lack of scoreboard, either local or worldwide, feels like such a missed opportunity. Why am I trying to score as high as possible if I don't even know what a good high score looks like? I also would love to see more bosses in the future, so Wolf and Wood, if you're watching this, I'd love to throw some ideas about how those boss fights could potentially be. Anyways, next let's talk about Versus. Multiplayer consists of four modes. Head to Head, which is a classic mode where each player tries to hit the blocks behind each other on a time limit. Firewall, which plays out as a kind of tug of war where each player has to hit the blocks on a wall with each hit moving the wall closer to the other player. Body Shot, which honestly was my favorite, where each player has their own ball as you simultaneously dodge and try to hit your opponent. And last but not least, Quick Shot, where each player tries to hit a block in the middle of the court as quickly as you can for maximum points. Every single mode here is a fucking blast. It's such a unique and fun way to game with each round ending in an absolute sweat fest. And I love how at the end of a round, you can seamlessly vote to play a different game type so you can properly flex your dominance on an opponent. I'm telling y'all, this game is awesome. It legitimately has me smiling ear to ear each time I play someone, but Unfortunately, other than these incredible game modes, we're again stuck with the lack of true competitive spirit. For example, I got matched up with the guy who didn't have his headset on. So after waiting for like three minutes for him to start playing, I had to quit out of the game. Upon quitting out, it told me that this would be counted as a loss, but 
There's nowhere to see your career record at all in the game. No sense of progression in multiplayer like a level up system. So at the end of the day, it all kind of falls flat and it kind of takes away the hunger to want more. I think this would have benefited so much from a multiplayer unlock system where maybe you could unlock headbands or different rackets as you play, as well as a tournament mode would have been amazing where you could maybe sit in the stand and watch while two players duel it out until it's your turn. But for what it's worth, I think that C Smash for the PSVR 2 was worth every penny, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do next with this title. The whole team at Wolf and Wood is so talented, and this is one of the best in-game soundtracks that I've heard in a game all year. I absolutely recommend this game to anyone who's looking for this type of adventure and hope to see you all on the court soon. It's an 8.5 out of 10. Take it or leave it. Thanks for watching.